true. So yes, guys, we said we have really, really cool stuff, right? So basically, we have guys which are going to show us the different types of virtual reality. Yes, welcome, guys. How are you doing? All right, yourself. Thanks. Cool, man. Great to have you. So we know virtual reality is like the new thing right now. Everybody's like, what? reality i mean we can get on our phones now with google but what are a few things that are coming with regard to virtual reality well uh with regards to virtual reality the sky is basically the limit mm -hmm. um at the at this point uh, there's really new technology where you don't necessarily need a cell phone to operate virtual reality you've okay. actually got virtual reality goggles where you've got a built-in screen mm -hmm. so um with a built-in screen you can download content on there and then you can obviously watch virtual reality in any place any time um, it's got Wi-Fi streaming capabilities and then it's also got Bluetooth downloadable um, options so that you can obviously download via Bluetooth from one link to another okay cool so is this it because I think like Samsung has one as well does it work similar yes. or what type of stuff can you watch basically with the Samsung one it's uh, it works with a cell phone okay. um, you obviously need the cell phone to put into it mm -hmm. where with this one over here it's got the built-in screen so it's got onboard memory memory it's Android enabled so anything that's Android powered you can obviously use okay cool. so okay. now would you call a virtual reality some sort of an illusion um, yes, yeah, um, you can call it that. Basically, you can call virtual reality a time machine if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, if you're recording virtual reality in a 360-degree video like we're doing right now at the moment, yeah. we can go back 10 years from now and actually watch this exact same video and immerse ourselves back into this uh, particular moment where we're sitting in there. Exactly. Life. Speaking about time, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are happening currently to make it better, to make it cooler. What are those type of things that will be coming in? There's obviously better cameras that are coming out okay. um, in terms of, you know, what sort of uh, quality we can film at. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, we're shooting at um, 1080p and anything up to 4K. Okay. Now, um, there is new technology that's coming out where you can shoot up to 8K. Okay. And when that happens, obviously our cell phone screens and the built-in screens on these units don't support that type of quality uh, video at this point. Yeah. But when that does happen to come out, then you're going to have more of an immersed feeling in virtual reality where you're going to feel completely immersed. Like you oh. won't be able to tell the difference between what's real and what's actually virtual. Okay. All right. So I want to know what you're holding on your hand. Oh, well, this is one of the 360 cameras that we've developed. Okay. Um, this is a 4K version. Okay. So basically, these cameras captures 360 degrees and then we convert it, put it together, and then you're able to watch it uh, through the headset on YouTube. So you put on one memory card and put it in here, so when yes, you put so this on, that's what you see? Yes, or you can basically download it um, okay. on the internet, so you can distribute it anywhere. Yeah. So the cool thing is, um, basically, what makes virtual reality exciting is that um, it can be used for games, it can use, be used for education, yeah. all those kind of stuff. Okay, so when you say that, do you think that uh, normal people can create their own uh, virtual reality? It's, it's going to happen. Um, there's, uh, LG is coming out with a 360 cam, mm -hmm. uh, Samsung is coming out with a 360 cam, and then with your smartphone, you can use the Google Cardboard app, Yeah. and then you can uh, basically film still three, uh, 360 shots, which is quite cool. Yeah. So, uh, how much does that? Uh, does that? <laughs> <laughs> how much does this actually go for? Because I'm sure. I mean, you have the whole 360 thing, the headsets, everything. I'm sure it's pretty expensive. Well, pretty much when it comes to the virtual reality goggles, these ones over here probably go for about five thousand rand because Whoa. they've got the built-in screen and the Android able. But then you've obviously got um, the ones that work with your cell phone. So mm -hmm. the ones that work with the cell phone, the cardboard version, those go for about 250 rand okay. per unit, which is very affordable. So you can take virtual reality to virtually anyone. And then um, you've got the plastic version, which sells for about 600 to 700 rand. Okay. And the plastic version is more a long-term sort of solution for virtual reality. So if you're going to be using it over and over and over yeah. again, I think the plastic version is probably the best thing to go for. And um, then with that one, it works exactly on the same principle as the cardboard, mm -hmm. and then, but it just lost you. Yeah. Not long. Now, would you say uh, virtual reality is worth the investment? Definitely. It definitely okay. is. Um, if you take virtual reality being worth the investment, like I said just now, it's a time machine. You can mm -hmm. always go back when it comes to corporate um, events, clients, or anything like that. They can do marketing and advertising on uh, using virtual reality to showcase the, the um, you know, say business models and everything. Yeah. But then also when it comes to education, um, you know, for education, when you want to form a certain operation 
or you need to form a, a class being in progress. Mostly in rural areas, kids can't necessarily go mm. to school every day. But mm. now you can take virtual reality to the kids and they can be immerse themselves in class while they're sitting in their lounge. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Thank you so, so much, much man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.